welcome to my Dollar Tree haul. So I have like a lot of different things. I have um, beauty, which I'm going to show you first. I have some home decor. I have some crafting items, some things for the home, some electronics, some food. So I have a different things. The first thing that I'm going to start start with is beauty. So I got two different ones. So the one that I usually get in this crazy wait a minute color 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 easy. Sorry, color easy. I usually get the medium brown, and that's what color I have right. My hair is right now. I only got one of these. I think now that I've gotten some, like my hair is longer. I need two bottles of this. So, I'm not sure. I think I am going to keep doing the medium brown. Like this month, every month I dye my hair because I'm getting gray highlights. That's what I call them. So, maybe like, so I guess March, come in March, I'm going to dye my hair again. And then May, I think I'm going to try to do dark brown. My natural hair color is dark brown. So, I got this color easy in the dark brown. And I'm going to try that. And now I have to go back to the Dollar Tree because I'm going to have to get two more of each of those. Because I don't plan on cutting my hair again. So because I fill in my eyebrows um, and the LA Colors has their new line of makeup, I got this LA Colors Brow Pencil. And this is in the dark brown because right now I'm using light brown. So I got the dark brown. And then I only had a few items because they didn't, I think, like the li the lipstick, the lipsticks are the lip glosses. I think they're like matte lip glosses. I already have a lot of LA Color. I just got like a couple of the Christmas sets of the LA Colors matte lipsticks. So I don't need those. Um, and also a couple of their, the eyeshadows that they had there, they look like they wouldn't be, they wouldn't show up. <laughs> like they look too, like, I don't think they would have enough pigment. But I did get two of the eyeshadows. So, I got the one that says Peace. And I'm going to take these out of this plastic so that you can see them with the paper or whatever this materials that they come in like the packaging and this one is beauty and I really like these colors and with these colors you do get like some transition colors or some I put like you know a matte color in my crease and then like I love like a metallic color on my um eyelid so the first one is the this one the beauty and I'm going to open this so that you can see the colors. If I can get it, there we go. So this is the packaging, and it's very thin. And then there's the colors. And I really love these kind of these colors. They're beautiful, especially like this color right here. I really love that color. And see how you have like a matte, these matte colors, they, I'll, I'll definitely put those like in my crease. And then these colors will look beautiful on like the lid and even this color too. So yes, I cannot wait to try those. And then this one is the one piece. Those other ones, because I was looking at them... Because I think they were like mostly matte colors. And I was looking at them for like, you know, for like my crease. And then I saw that these have colors for your crease in them already. So, I decided not to get those. Okay. So, it's the same packaging. And then, there's the colors. And I like this one. I like, like for this like blue color. This like metallic um, navy blue. And I got these. 
this is um, their lip gloss, but I have seen people swatch these, and they do have like a they do have colors in them. So this one is like a boss. So I did pick this up, the lip gloss, and mostly I pick like I love reds. I guess you could say this one is kind of this is an LA Colors that I'm wearing right now. I don't know the name of it, but it's I got wore it because it matches my shirt. <laughs> It's kind of like a red orange color, but this is a red, and then I love that nude color, and I love the um, name like a boss. That's awesome. And then I've been taking these. I only take these on the days that I have to um, wake up early in the morning. Like when I take my son to school in the morning, I have to wake up at seven. And I take these so at night time I can sleep because I've always been a night owl. And I love, I still wake up early in the morning. And sometimes on the weekends that I, I've been, lately, I've been enjoying sleeping in. But these just help me go to sleep. Like, I'll take one about 11 and then by 12, I'm pretty much, like about an hour hour and a half later I'm tired and I only take one and it's the melatonin three milligram with vitamin vitamin B6 and it has calcium melatonin um so yeah and I don't think this is like habit for me for me it's nature's measures nature's measure promotes a healthy night of sleep and it also aids with aids with jet lag. So yes. Now I will do maybe like the stuff for my house. So the first thing I'm going to show you are these. So I bought these for my laundry room. I got these for my laundry room because in my laundry room, and it's like a purple color because. I couldn't find like the dark purple and I think it is probably because you know spring is coming and like all the pastel colors for like Easter and things like that and I think it was the Facebook page that I saw a lady do this like the Dollar Tree Facebook page but this is the closest to the color that I have of like I have like a shelf you know and then mine has it where I could use these they're called nylon cable ties that people usually call these zip ties and I can do that to like the underneath the shelf and like have this kind of hanging. I got two of these to do that for my laundry room just so that I can have extra storage in my laundry room because in my laundry room I have like you know the typical laundry detergent and dryer sheets but also I keep like my cleaning products in there and I keep like the tools like that I have for like if we need a tool around the house that I, and I keep that in there too and I try also like to keep like my toilet tissue and my paper towels in there so that's I got two of those for there and those zip ties and then I got this because it smells really good and people have been talking about this a lot this is the final touch fabric fabric softener sheet they're jumbo sheets, and you get 35 of them in there, and they do smell good. They're spring fresh scented. And I have a trash can for my bedroom, because that's where I put my makeup on at. And my son's bedroom, and like both of my bathrooms. But I don't have one for in here, my filming room. So I picked up this little trash can for in here, like if I have a receipt or, you know, when I'm taking the tags off of things, I just need a little trash can in here. So I picked that up and then I got these pillar, unscented pillar candles because I am not really a fan of like this um, neon green color, <laughs> but I love like pops of this color, like I just love like see how it has like the cream and then that the green and then the brown. I just love like pops of that. 
So I got two of these. Um, they're unscented pillar candles and they're by Luminescence. So I just got two of those to do to use for decoration somewhere. I'm not sure exactly where yet. Um, now I will show you. I'm gonna just show you like what I have over here because I'm gonna save the craft stuff for last because I have a couple of things that I want to show you and just in case people aren't interested in seeing like my flower arrangements and stuff like that, I'm gonna save it to the to last. So I picked up with this. Um, it says looking sharp and I love the cactus, so that's why I picked it up. I just love that little. It's just a little tote bag. And then I will show you the electronic stuff that I picked up because I really am excited about it. So these are the E circuit, and this is the earphones with microphone. Oh wow, earphones with microphone. Hmm. I'm not sure what that means. I thought this was like a volume control, like you know how like they have on the iPhone earphones so that's interesting I have to see exactly what that means I didn't really pay attention to it when I purchased it I got the phone holder and I got it in white because I have a white phone uh, mine's white and gold so it looks like that and then I got two three of these ring holder and they're also by the e circuit brand and this is two which i think this is a pretty good brand because i've been using the aux cord like in my car and this works great it's like better than that five dollar aux cord that i got from big lot so i got the ring holders it you can use it as a kickstand or as a ring to improve grip so I got in red, white, and black. And those are good because the other day in Dollar General, I never dropped my phone. I have a couple times and then I like a crack in the corner. I dropped my phone in Dollar General. I was buying some paper towels. And it just, because of that little crack that I had, because I dropped my phone a lot actually, but this time when I dropped it, it was done. Like, it cracked. It was really bad. So, I don't know if those will help from something like that from happening. Because I had took it out of my purse to, like, get my money out. And it fell off of there. So, I don't know if those would help in that situation. But maybe I could, like, put it on my finger, you know. And then it won't be falling down. Anyways, it teaches you just to be more careful when you do something like that. So, I will show you like the snacks. So, these come in a three pack for a dollar and I love Cracker Jacks and I've already ate two, the other two boxes. I got some of the cotton candy puffs. I was going to get the cinnamon ones, but they looked really mangled and like, I would, and I couldn't find another bag of them. So, I just decided to get the cotton candy ones. And then, I love these. I don't think my son really likes this mix too much because he's not into like the gourmet flavors like with the popcorn. And he's really not like into those. And I think it would, there's like bubblegum popcorn, chocolate pudding, cotton candy, green apple, lemon, lemon lime, orange sherbet, peach, raspberry, red apple, sour apple, sour cherry, Strawberry jam, toasted marshmallow, tutti frutti, berry cherry, watermelon, berry blue, and blueberry. So these say the kids mix. 20 flavors kids love. But if I remember correctly, he doesn't. But I'll see if he wants to try these again. I only see these like around spring and Easter. They're gluten free, they're fat free, they're peanut free also. And I needed salt and pepper. I got black pepper. And um, I don't use table salt. I use the pink salt majority of the time. But every now and then, like for fries, 
and I can't remember exactly what else it is I use the table salt for it, but kind of like when I have recipes and I need to like use like a teaspoon or whatever you know the main the teaspoons or something I'll use like table salt for that because I'm not going to sit there and keep turning and turning and turning the pink salt to get like a teaspoon or whatever so this is the just you know table salt and I got some hand soap. So I found the little, the cute little owl hand soaps. And this one, the purple one is cherry, which I'm excited for that because I love anything cherry scented. And this one is a fresh pear. This one is strawberry scented. And this one is apple scented. And then I I always use these mostly like in the bathrooms and kitchen. I love these. They're the Clarin Denver, and this is I got the Apple Fields this time because I like these because they have a refill to go with them. So it's the Apple Fields Clarin Denver liquid hand soap. I'm gonna show you the craft stuff because this one is gonna take a while to show you the craft stuff. But I got these display easels in the black because I wanted this because I wanted it for that litter board that I got from Target to like put this on because I don't want to hang it on the wall I just want to put it on one of these so I like these for like pictures instead of like putting holes in the wall I like to use these now but I still do you know put, put use I still put pictures on the wall too I got these Easter eggs and these are like the gold and mint color because I have one of those um, foam foam that is in like a, kind of in the shape of a tree and I'm going to do it for Easter I have this reindeer moss and I'm going to use this and I'm going to make like an Easter tree <laughs> these are in this bag because I hate these make a mess kind of and these I just got some more of these white stones and I got a heart because I'm going to put stuff I have like in the round flat planter but I'm going to do an another um, succulent bouquet or whatever with this and that's why I got those white stones to go in this and I'll show you guys when I finish that and I also got this, this one drew my eye, because, and this is that other, this one drew my eye because it is color by number, and it's also dot to dot mazes, and it's creative coloring, and I already have a lot of, you know, the adult coloring books, but I don't have anything like this, but this one has like different ones, like this is a color by number, and then let's see. There's a maze. There's a dot to dot. It looks like that's going to be a dream catcher. Or, no, I don't know what that is. Here's another dot to dot. The answers are on the behind this page. Here's another maze. Okay, and now I'm going to show you guys the flower arrangement. So, I don't know if you can tell through my video, but I burnt my thumb. <laughs> like, I'm used to burning, like, the tips of my fingers with the um, hot glue gun. But when I burnt this part of my finger, it was really bad because, yeah, it's been like this for a while. And I'll show you what I was making. So, I was making this because I had, like, the square... Um, foam and I decided to take the carnation these are carnations I decided to take them out of that and I wanted to make like the ball so I used these and I glued it to you know one of those glass candle holders and then these are just like the green carnations and I don't know if you can tell because this one is like here I'll take it down 
the ones that have like, they're kind of like white and green carnations and then they have like gold glitter. So that is that one. I don't know which one of these I burnt my finger on, but yeah. And then I have like this little scarf. I'm just showing you guys my background now. And I made this arrangement. So I got this from Dollar Tree. This vase. <laughs> and I got the carnations and like the little, the, the gold clover pick things. They just come with the flower. And then they, these are called daisies, like the little bits that are scattered around in there with the carnations. They're like, they're daisies. So yeah, I made that little arrangement for St. Patrick's Day for my backgrounds. So you guys have something to look at besides me in the background. And um, I didn't, this is the one that I showed you for my bathroom and I'm, I don't, after living with this for a little while, I don't like it. So I made me something else for my bathroom and I'm going to just take this apart because I don't really like the yellow and the blue. Like I like it. The picture that I saw of this was beautiful, but I just don't, I don't know. Something is like off about it that I don't like. So I'm going to show you the one that I made for my bathroom. And I got these stones from the Dollar Tree and these flowers from, this vase came with like something that my husband bought for me, like a flower arrangement that he bought for me. Um, but you can do this with like, I have bought this one to do this with. It does squish the flowers a little bit, but you can't, it does, you can do it. So these are, I think they're called lilies. And I saw this on, I don't know if it was, um, I don't know if it was Pinterest. That I saw this on. Yeah, but I really like it. And then I think I got this one out, this idea off Pinterest also. And I got these, these are orchids, and then these are um, peonies or peonies, peonies, I don't know how to pronounce it. And then these are orchids, and then this, I've had this like for ages this um twisty sticks or whatever i am going to do some tweak this a little bit i think i'm going to put like some um twine around like you know that brown twine around this and i'm going to move these into the flowers a little bit and try to arrange it but i want to i'm just going to go ahead and show you guys now this is for my living room and then this is falling apart still. These gems that I bought at the Dollar Tree <laughs> and this um, square vase, my husband gave this to me. It was in, um, it had like a candy bouquet in it. He gave it to me for our anniversary or Valentine's Day or Mother's Day. I can't remember which one. So I took those glass, black, marbles are gems I think they're called and I glued them onto this and they're falling off so I don't recommend hot glue gun in them and then these pastel pink and purple roses I got at the Dollar Tree and this picture is also something that I found on the internet I found this on the internet somewhere and I like screenshot it to my phone. I don't know if I got it off Pinterest or what, but yeah. So I really love this if the gems would stay on it. You have to be really careful with this. But I really love it. With the different, the pink and purple flowers. I think it's really beautiful. And I've got that. I made that probably it's going to be like for a background, maybe for spring. Or I'm not sure. This one can be a background for any time of the year, I think. So, that is my haul and my DIYs, well, my flower arrangements. I hope you enjoyed this haul. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.